nieces and nephews at. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What we doing? Let's get to it. What's the topic today? What we doing? Let's get to it. There are more than 10,000 known ant species around the world. Estimates suggest there are 10 quadrillion ants alive at any one time. Ants can carry more than 50 times their own weight. Ladybugs. Ladybugs are technically lady beetles and not bugs. Ladybugs have six legs. They have red wings with black spots on them. Ladybugs live in gardens and parks in the summer. They hibernate in the winter. They eat green fly and other garden pests. Grasshoppers, grasshoppers. Grasshoppers love to hop, hop, hop. They also like to eat grass, flowers, leaves, barks of some plants weeds and seeds spiders 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 can be really scary because spiders can be every and anywhere you should never touch a spider but let's talk about some facts spiders have eight legs spiders are not insects spiders spin webs to catch other bugs to eat but not all spiders make webs most spiders are not dangerous, but you should never touch or play with them. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. Here are some quick facts. Butterflies taste with their feet. A group of butterflies is sometimes called a flutter. Their eyes are made of 6,000 lenses and can see ultraviolet light. There are 165,000 known species of butterflies found on every continent except Antarctica. Many adult butterflies never waste food. They use up all they can eat for energy. Bzzz. Bee facts, let's talk about these bees. Bees collect both nectar and pollen from plants and store them in their hives to feed the queen and the workers. The bees bring in pollen and special hairs in their legs, called pollen sacs. The colors vary depending on which flower the bees have been on. When a worker bee finds a new flower with nectar, they pass it on to another worker bee. When they get back to the hive, they face off and face each other to do this. Each hive has a leader the queen bee, who can be recognized by her larger size. A single hive contains an impressive 40 to 45,000 bees. Don't ever walk up on a beehive. Don't touch one, because it can be very dangerous. Hurry, because I'm gonna wait. Grab a piece of paper, a pencil, crayon, a marker, whatever you have. Bring it back to me, to the screen, and we are going to work on these problems. Okay? Okay. So let's get ready. So, count the insects in each group, and I am going to put that correct number in the box. Let's start with the bees. 
Here's an example. How many bees do you see in the first group? Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's put ten in that box. In the second group, how many bees do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten plus ten equals twenty. How many ants do you see in the first group? How many ants do you see in the second group? All right. And how many ants are there total? How many butterflies do you see in the first group? How many butterflies do you see in the second group? How many butterflies do you see? What's the total? How many ladybugs do you see in the first group? How many ladybugs do you see in the second group? Let's write the total. How many grasshoppers do you see in the first group? How many grasshoppers do you see in the second group? Let's write the total. How many spiders do you see in the first group? How many spiders do you see in the second group? Let's write the total. Yes, that is correct. There are five ants in the first group, 15 <laughs> ants in the second group, which equals 20. There's right. 12 it. butterflies right. in the first group, eight butterflies in the second group. That equals 20. We have four ladybugs in the first group, 16 ladybugs in the second group. That equals 20. Seven grasshoppers in the first group, 13 grasshoppers in the second group. That equals 20. Nine spiders in the first group, 11 spiders in the second group. And that equals, come on, everyone say it with me, 20.